car dealership. This car dealership sits right across from that mobile home community on Street Road, and the tornado was powerful enough to flip several cars at the Faulkner dealership, completely destroying the showroom. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Carabeo is live on the ground with more on the damage. We see that debris scattered all around you, Jen. Good morning. Debris everywhere, Janelle. Good morning. As you were mentioning, there is substantial damage all over this area. But this dealership here in Trevos is one of the hardest hit areas. This is the Faulkner car dealership right off of Street Road. You mentioned all of the debris behind me. That's all insulation that has been blown out of the showroom. That is the showroom, or what once was the showroom. Now, you can't see it from this angle too much. Of course, you can see all of the damage inside, everything thrown around, turned upside down. But if we take Take a look at Chopper 3 over the scene. You can see right on through, part of the roof is gone. All of the cars here, or many of the cars here for that matter, have been pushed around. A lot of windshields and windows broken, some car parts strewn about in the parking lot. And as you mentioned, that one car lifted up, flipped over, and slammed down on other vehicles. There was another vehicle we could see in the back lot as well that was picked up and pushed into other cars. So significant damage out here. In all, we're told by officials that five people in this general area were injured during this storm and tornado, and four of those people were here at Faulkner at the time. Fortunately, though, all of those injuries are minor. Now, this tornado touched down just after 7 o'clock last night and left a path of destruction in its wake. Ben Salem's director of public safety tells us that the tornado touched down in the township along the old Lincoln Highway corridor. He says it came up near Neshaminy Mall, went down through the Penn Valley Trailer Park, the Turnpike Street Road, crossing over into the Lincolnia section as well as the Concord Park section, and then here to Faulkner. As you can imagine, it was a terrifying experience for people inside of this particular business. Again, four people here were hurt, but not badly. That's the good news. The timing of the storm is also key. Take a listen. If the storm would have been two hours earlier, this would be a different report. Um, those places would have been packed with people, especially in Faulkner, would have been packed with workers. And uh, thank God, it, uh, for whatever is good about it, it happened two hours later and not 4:35 o'clock. You've got, uh, you know, you've got some damage on Metropolitan Drive. You've got substantial damage in the trailer parks. You've got substantial damage at the street in Old Lincoln at Faulkner. Uh, that's going to be a long time for to get that business back open again. Absolutely. The hits keep coming for the Ben Salem area. This is the third storm in just 15 days. Here we are talking about more damage, more cleanup, and rebuilding ahead. At this point, it's still unclear how many homes in this area were damaged. We're working to confirm some information. But you can see here at this dealership, there is significant damage. That is the car I'm talking about that was picked up and flipped over. There is another building right nearby that lost all of its walls pretty much. Its roof is gone. All we see is debris. So that's a complete and total loss. There are signs that have lost their signs. They've been blown away. There are a bunch of light poles out here that have been toppled over. Some of them bent as if they were pieces of plastic. So a lot to do today. Damage assessment will continue on today. And the Red Cross is operating a shelter over at Neshaminy High School. We're told four people had to stay there overnight. And it will remain open for the rest of the day for people who need resources and information. We're coming to you live from Trevos. Jan Carabeo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Janelle. What an incredible. Scene there, Jen. Amazingly, nobody seriously injured. Thank you for the